the point that we've got to discuss right now is the French pontificating against the UK, putting threats there. I think it's needless. Uh, if the French have got an issue with the, the deal that was agreed, then they should take it up directly with the Commission and not put threats on our businesses here in Scotland who are trying to support communities and the fishermen at sea. How is it going? Uh, how, how is your industry now, now that things are, uh, they must be beginning to settle down? Absolutely, it is definitely settled down, but it, it does appear that if anyone should be aggrieved, it should be should be the UK exporters, because we have got to do all the cumbersome work of the extra paperwork, and the, those who are importing into the UK can put goods into the UK as they were before Brexit happened. So it, can, we're, we're currently operating in an unfair street, which seems to be a one-way street, and yet here we have the French kicking off and, and threatening to to uh, restrict access into the, the EU market. Now, again, I keep saying, if the French are aggrieved at this, they should take this up with the Commission and not put threats in our way. So you definitely are pointing the finger at the French. You're not thinking that perhaps you were sold out by your own government. It's, it, listen, we've all got our own thoughts. There are many different options and deals on the table. In a negotiation, you win some, you lose some. That, and the, the fact of the matter is there was an agreement and we have got to uh, work with that agreement whilst we should, with calm heads, get around the table and sort any indifferences out that we have. But putting threats and 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 trying to restrict business opportunities, I do not think is the way to, to sort this wrangle out. I mean, if Britain backed down the licence of French boats to, to fish in our seas, what would that mean for you and your association? Well, I mean, it, 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 it's immaterial because I think there's two separate things here. We, we are looking to get access to EU markets, which should be as what was agreed. If, if there are issues with licences, that to me is not part of what we were negotiating about, although it's part of the bigger deal. But I keep saying this row needs to be sorted out with the EU. The EU needs to come in here and say that they will, t they, they will sort it out because ultimately they're the ones that did the deal with the UK, not the French.